All right, hey guys, so here is the third and final update on my Keen Ranger PT. So it's working now. Um, no thanks to me, because I'm a complete idiot. So if you watch the other two videos, they're fairly small. If you want, if, if you want go back and check them out. Um, so I activated the SIM card from EIOT Club uh, back in February. Same SIM card that was in the camera last year. Uh, allowed it to run out of data because I wasn't using it for the winter. So uh, I activated it through, or excuse me, refilled it through my phone on the EIOT Club app. Uh, loaded it back up with a year's worth of data, uh, 26 gigabytes, and um, the camera wouldn't turn on. This was back in February, um, and I wasn't planning on going up to up to the property until March. So activated uh, or refilled the card and uh, it wouldn't come up on the uh, um, uh, the real link app so waited till i went back up there pulled the camera the camera down hit the reset nothing worked uh, it wouldn't no voice prompts or nothing um, turn it off remove the sim card remove the sd card put everything back in turn it back on hit the reset nothing no voice prompts nothing Get a red, solid red light, and then a blinking blue light, and then nothing. Uh, you'll see that on one of the other videos. So then um, I contacted uh, Keen Ranger through the website, through emails, and I would get an email a day. And um, they informed me that I wasn't resetting it properly. So um, I have, you have to hold the button and hold the reset in for a couple of seconds, and then it'll give you a, a, a chime. And then the, it'll start all over with the reset. So I reset it properly this time. And then um, it would tell me uh, um, fail to connect to the network, uh, check your SIM card, or uh, fail to connect to the network, SIM card not recognized, check your, or check your um, signal. So signal's fine because I'm here in my, in my regular city at home, urban area. Um, so like what the heck so uh, contacting them back and forth they wanted me to update the firmware well I can't update the firmware because the camera won't connect to the uh, servers so they emailed me uh, the firmware file I had to put it erase this sim card excuse me uh, erase the SD card put the firmware file on that put that back in the camera turn it on reset it again and this time I get a voice prompt. Well, it's still, I get the same voice prompt. Sorry, I got the same voice prompt. You know, SD card or SIM card not recognized. Can't connect the network. SIM card not recognized. Check your signal. Blah blah blah. So I contact them. I'm like, I don't think this is the right file you sent me. Um, because when I'm because one of the well, I didn't do this the first time. So after talking to them the second time, uh, you have to create a folder on your desktop called uh, Upgrade. So you got to move the firmware file into the upgrade folder, then put it on your SD card, then put it back in, go through all over again. Still didn't work. So I said, I don't think this is the right file. So when I moved over into that, um, into that upgrade file, the icon is my Mozilla symbol, uh, and it just says it's an internet file. So I don't think this is the right thing. They're like, nope, that's the right one. Try it again. Still nothing. So I'm like, oh, so I bought a new uh, SIM card. It's $5 buy it off of Amazon and I didn't load it yet um, so I started talking to uh, the EIOT club because um, I would go into the um, go into the files of my receipts for buying it and stuff and it said that you know in the main page it says that the card is activated but then when you actually go into the card it said it was suspended for inactivity or being you know without data so I emailed them say hey, listen it says it's inactivated you know it's got 26 on there the main screen says activated but if I go back in there it says unactivated blah 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 so they're like you know what's your receipt and I had to go dig through old emails so it's a big pain in the butt so then they're like uh well we so I you know because you have to give them your um your CCID number off the card itself um so they're like okay well we added a hundred out a uh, hundred megabytes back onto the card because we can't find the receipt number that you gave us for that card, blah, blah. And um, so <laughs> they 
we added a hundred megabytes onto the card for you for for us to try it, you know. So I go and turn the camera on and fire it right up. In the EIOT app, I have two cameras. I have one for the bottom of my hill and one for behind my blind. When I named the cards from the EIOT club app, I had them backwards. So the card that I actually filled was one for the bottom of the hill that I wasn't planning on refilling until later. Uh, so the one I was trying to do was actually had no data. So now it's, it's full now. So uh, we'll go back to the whole deal. So turn the camera on. Allow the red light to start blinking, then we'll reset it. Or excuse me, for the red light to turn off and the blue light to start blinking. That's what we gotta do. It just takes a second. Actually, I should probably reset it before it starts blinking. Oh, no, there it goes. So let's hurry up and reset it before it actually turns on. I can't find the, can't find the hole. It helps if I can find a dang hole. There it is. So we're gonna hold that in for a second. There's the there's the chime. Now it's gonna do a complete reset. Just give it a moment, you impatient people. I know I'm extremely impatient. It's a default of mine. All right, so the light's blinking. See, it's blinking in a different pattern than last time, too. Network connection succeeded. Bingo. And now it is it is back on my app, uh, which I can't show you while I'm filming. But it's all good now. So charge the battery up full. I'm going to shut it off. I mount it back into its uh, hanging hardware and uh, take it back to the property, hook it back up to its solar panel. I want to turn it off uh, so it doesn't drain power without being used. But that's it. I'm an idiot. So if it weren't for the fact of having those cards misnamed in the EIOT Club app, I wouldn't have had to have all this damn aggravation. But, all right, thanks for checking us out. Bye.